Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Keela and JoJo's over here sprawled out on the sofa. But I wanted to come and say hi. Good morning. Or should I say good midday? Probably at this point. But I am finally going to get up for the, for the day. It is Saturday. It is a rainy Saturday here. Um, and it's been ooh, about three two three weeks since i've actually like recorded anything um i tried recording here and there but it really wasn't much so i decided i would record today it's going to be a lazy day i'm going to tell you because i don't think i'm going anywhere matter of fact i know i'm not going anywhere today because it is raining so yeah i'm in the house i'm still in my pjs I finally did get up, though. I'm up. I'm up. I, I think. I may go back and take another nap. <laughs> but who knows? Don't judge me. But JoJo is waving, saying good morning. Come over here and say hi. I can't. He says he can't. But anyway. Oh, y'all. His face has cleared up. Like, oh my gosh. It looks so much better. So, um. Do you want me to show? That's up to you. But he is doing good. I have clothes right over here that I need to fold, so don't, don't, don't pay attention to those. But see, his face looks so much better. But anyways, the kids were out for their fall break this week. Um, yay, I got to sleep past 5.30. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and probably get breakfast, fold up clothes, wash clothes, you know, the usual mom stuff. And I will check back in with you guys in a little bit, okay? Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. It's a couple hours later. I'm still lounging around. Um, it's just gonna be a Jay. Turn the TV down a little bit. It's just gonna be a lazy day. I am doing laundry, but overall, it's a lazy day. It's raining. It's nothing we can really do. So we're just we're just here. We can play board games. We could play board games, but there's only so much of that I want to do, too. So. Anyway, we're still here. The kids' uh, fall break is winding down, and then they have the fair next week. And normally, the kids will be out for the fair, but for whatever reason, it didn't fall like that this time, so... They'll be in school, and JoJo is the parliamentarian for... His 4-H um, club, like it for their grade, for sixth, for sixth grade. So, he's the parliamentarian for that. So, I'm not exactly sure 100% whether or not they have to participate every night at the fair. Don't know. But I will find out um, Monday when he goes to school. And, yeah. Whatever it is that he does next week, I will let you guys know. They did finish up their tennis uh, season on Thursday, Thursday, and they did really, really well. Josiah um, and his partner won their tennis match, so that was good. It was a really good match. Um, so now we're gearing up for basketball. Yep, basketball, so my favorite sport. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes, and... That's about all that we're doing. Nothing much. Nothing much. But I guess we're going to go and... I guess grab lunch, maybe. Get something to eat. Finish washing clothes. Play a board game or two with JoJo, maybe. I don't know. And, yeah. That's about all we're going to be doing. So, you guys stay tuned. Oh, I will, we will be getting ready for church on tomorrow. Um, i got to make sure our dress clothes are, um, are ready for tomorrow. Um, yeah. So, maybe we can do like a quick get ready with us in the morning if we have time. If we have time. That's not to say we will. But if we do, we'll take you guys along with us. And, yeah. We'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? I'll check back in in a little bit. 
Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. As you can see, I am not in my church clothes. I am actually standing in my kitchen making homemade soup. Josiah has apparently picked up some kind, some type of viral bug or something from somewhere, and he's we're home. So I'm making some homemade soup for him, homemade veg, uh, homemade vegetable soup for him. Um, so yeah, I I'll show you guys what I've done so far. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, so so far I have my ground beef that I just drained off, and I'm about to add my vegetables, and I have my beef broth right here. So, and I also I boiled um. I gotta add some potatoes, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that net boil, and yeah, I'll be right back, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so so far I've added my corn and I've added a can of mixed vegetables to it. So I am about to stir this up and then go ahead and finish adding my other vegetables and my stock, the beef stock, and some salt and pepper and yeah I'll be like you know what hopefully I can do it with you guys hold on okay guys so I have turned the stock off just so I can handle it better and I have the actual pot that I'm doing the soup in is down on like low so I'm just adding my tomatoes and I'm using the tomato with basil garlic and oregano so I'm just gonna add that over and then and I have just a regular diced tomato. So I'm adding that over in there. Be careful with those lids now because they are sharp and they will cut you. So let me see if I can find my stand so I can sit you guys on and I can actually use both of my hands, okay? Hold on. Okay, I hope you guys can see me. Um, gosh, I hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing, but it's not hard, guys. It's just homemade soup. All I did was brown some ground beef, and I seasoned that salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, chopped up some fresh onions. I'm just adding some salt. I did add those vegetables, and every vegetable that I had didn't have salt added to it, so I can't get that open. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper not much and remember now that beef stock has salt in it too so you don't want to go too too crazy with the table salt because you are adding well i'm adding beef stock to mine so i'm gonna go ahead and pour that over into it y'all be careful when you add in that stock because it is hot it is hot so i'm just gonna add a little bit at a time Yep, just adding a little bit at a time. Now what I'm about to do now, so I can have that actual um, vegetable soup color, I'm gonna turn this stove back up a little bit too and put it on medium. I am gonna add in some tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. You don't have to, but I am. And I'm just gonna add that in another added layer of flavor come on here now open up i'm going to add that over because i don't have any tomato paste so what this is going to do is give it that color now i'm also going to be very careful and add a little bit of this stock to this container put the top on it and shake it up so I can get all my sauce out of it. There we go. Just like that. Now, that's trash. Put that right there. Get the pepper out the way. All right. Ooh. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hit sneeze. 
wash my hands. Come on back over here with y'all. Okay, guys. So, I'm sorry the camera is kind of moving all over the place. I'm so sorry. I apologize for that. But here it is. So, whoa, you guys like the wit in the pot. I know you. Wait a minute. Now it's not ready yet. Hold on. Don't go in there yet. But I have all of the all of the veggies in there. So what I'm going to do now is leave it alone and let it simmer for about an hour on medium to medium low. Put the lid on it. And that's all that I'm going to do. Make sure I've turned off all these other caps. Yeah, I'm touching the pot. It's okay. I got it. So that's what we're about to do right here. I put it on medium low. And I'm gonna leave it alone. And uh it is eleven thirty two right now. So at twelve thirty, twelve thirty two, I'll be back, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys what we've done from there, all right? So stay tuned. I just want to mention that. Okay, you guys see these right here? So I did not have any more actual like beef broth or beef bouillon cubes but Josiah had these so what I did was I opened two packs of these noodles right here I opened two packs of these and I took the uh, seasoning packet that comes in it I took that out of it and I left the noodles right over here I put those in a ziploc bag for him I know he was not gonna eat them anyway but I needed beef broth so I took two packs of the two of those seasoning packets and I opened it up and I put it in a little pot like a uh, a small sauce like sauce pot and I added some water to it and I put it on the stove and let it come to a simmer and that's how I was able to have my beef broth but so that's just a tip that if you don't have beef broth or chicken broth but and you need it and you have like packs of noodles like the kids um Raymond noodles, ramen noodles, whatever you call them. You can take the packet, the seasoning packets out of it and add some water, stir it up, let it come to a simmer, and you have yourself some beef or chicken broth. So, okay, guys, it is actually 12:47, but I am back. And I'm about to turn the stove off now. Um, the soup is ready. This is what it looks like. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove off. Let it cool for a few minutes and then um, and then I'm going to give Josiah a bowl of the soup and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call the video to a close. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video, okay? Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.